How much energy does it take to run a country? And right now, how much of that energy is sustainable? These are pretty critical questions in the long-term functioning of a modern society, and the answers are getting more positive, slowly. In the case of the USA, that's a relatively easy question to answer, as the Energy Information Administration, a congressional statistics body, pulls the information together on a regular basis and supplies it to the public in a handy series of documents. We learn, for example, that the nation's energy consumption is roughly 100 quadrillion BTU, or British Thermal Energy Units. One BTU is the quantity of energy required to raise the temperature of one pound of liquid by one degree Fahrenheit at the temperature of 39 degrees Fahrenheit. It goes without saying that's a startlingly large number and very difficult to picture, but it's the equivalent of burning about 20 billion barrels of petrol, which fortunately is not where all our energy comes from. Sadly, of those 20 billion barrels of petrol equivalent in energy, a little under 8 billion actually do come from petrol, which makes petroleum America's largest energy source, providing around 37% of all energy consumed at the time of the latest stats, 2019. After that comes natural gas at 32%, with both coal and the cumulative total of all types of renewable energy at about 11% each. Nuclear energy, which is arguably greener than the other non-renewable types, contributes the remaining 8% of American energy. At 11%, then, the total amount of energy that America used from renewable sources in 2019 was the equivalent of burning about 2 billion barrels of petrol, which of course is not an insignificant saving in fossil fuels, but also a far cry from some other countries. Iceland, which makes use of its impressive geothermal energy options, produced nearly 80% of its energy from renewable sources in 2019. Norway was up at 66%, Brazil at 45%, and even near neighbours Canada at 27% all figures that put the current American scenario to shame. In terms of America's green energy progress, despite some seemingly anti-environmental policies, production in America did actually improve during former President Trump's administration, with plenty of private and pre-planned state projects coming online, as well as Trump-era projects such as the North Central Wind Station and Spotsylvania Solar Station. As for what's already in place, the breakdown is a little complicated and perhaps not what you'd expect. Of all the renewable energy used, 43% is biomass energy. That means the use of fuels that can easily be regrown, rather than those that are pulled from the ground after thousands of years. This arguably renewable energy includes the burning of sustainable wood, biofuels from sources like animal methane or corn ethanol, and figures for biomass waste, a technique for turning waste into energy by burning. Some of these energy production methods are worth flagging as less than ideal from a green perspective. Biomass waste energy production, for example, is more environmentally friendly than burning oil. After all, it's disposing of post-use waste products, so recycling the energy from them to some degree, but not exactly the cleanest form of energy production in its own right, despite its green assignment. Similarly, burning of sustainable trees and crops are nevertheless not the cleanest form of energy production. The truly green energy is that which produces little in the way of byproducts, and that accounts for the remaining 57% of renewable energy, or just under 6% of the US's total energy use. Those sources of energy include wind, the biggest contributor, hydroelectric power, which is also key, and smaller contributions from solar and geothermal energy sources. That means that the exact amount of renewable energy that the US used in 2019 probably depends on your definition of what is renewable. It could be as much as the equivalent of 2.2 billion barrels of oil, but more hardline environmentalists would probably argue that it's in fact a little over 1.2 billion barrels of oil equivalent energy. Others still might argue that nuclear is a relatively acceptable and environmental product, and that would add another 1.6 billion barrel equivalents. The primary uses of all US energy, incidentally, was spread across a vast range of sectors, with electric power slightly more significant than transportation, which in turn came in a little ahead of industrial uses. Residential and commercial energy use came far behind. The US's relatively paltry use of renewable energy is on the up, however, with year-on-year -year increases over the past decade, and plenty of plans to improve the situation. Joe Biden's administration are putting a stronger focus on renewable energy, and with plenty of desire for change amongst large parts of the public, it's reasonable to expect renewable energy to have a bigger market share in the future. In fact, the US has fantastic renewable energy potential, with huge capacity to develop in particular in solar, and to a lesser extent in wind and geothermal energy. A 2012 report by the National Renewable Energy Laboratory put the total potential energy production each year through renewable sources at over 100 times the US's annual energy use at the time. 
Essentially, subject to changes in the way we travel, produce electricity and organize our industry, it's very possible that the US could be entirely fueled by renewable energy in the long term, though that's inevitably a long road thought by some experts, such as Stanford scientists, to be achievable by around 2050. Joe Biden's early policy changes have certainly looked that way, having included the cancelling of permits for the Keystone XL pipeline project, which intended to deliver oil extracted from the Alberta oil sands in Canada, and recommitting the US to the Paris Climate Change Agreement, which sets energy targets. Current renewable energy projects under development sit in a range of sectors. American companies Tesla and Lucid are pushing forward in the electric vehicle market. There's $16 billion currently being invested in major wind farms in Texas, Wyoming and off the coast of North Carolina, as well as a number of significant smaller projects. The solar energy industry is growing fast too, currently employing an estimated 242,000 people, with Nevada, a prime location for this kind of energy, expected to see investment of around $9 billion in the area in the coming decade. The Pecan Prairie solar project, set to be up and running in Texas in 2022, will supply energy to around 50,000 homes. So while the US is not at the top of its game globally, there is steady progress and a marked shift in the direction of renewable energy that looks set to continue. All of this is important for reasons that should be compelling even to climate change skeptics. The key is in the word renewable. Eventually, in order to sustain energy consumption, America will have no choice but to adapt. As Elon Musk once said, if it's not renewable, it's going to run out at some point. So what's a sensible timeline for the switch over to renewable energy and which sources should come at the forefront of the change? Hit subscribe and tell us in the comments.